Let me ask you a question. Try to do this problem mentally. If I were at your place, I wouldn't even try because problem like this exceed the short term memory limit of human mind. So we humans simply cannot do these problems mentally. Or can we? So in this book, I learned a really cool trick known as guesstimation with which we can solve problem like these in a very little amount of time with insane precision. Our answer wouldn't be accurate, but it would be really close to the real answer, making you a superhuman calculator. So with this, let's begin. So hello geniuses, welcome to the fifth part of Methogenius Mental Math series and also a very big thank you for helping me to reach out 40,000 subscribers which is insane. And also after I started to host this channel, the subscribers are increasing at an accelerated rate. So thank you so much for that and also thank you for your love in this Mental Math series also. So in this Mental Math series, we have learned addition, subtraction, multiplication, a lot of cool Mental Math tricks, how to memorize numbers. Now it's time to learn division. Now for multiplication other stuff, I had to teach you the left to right method which was new for you. But see, how do we do division on paper? Yes, we go from left to right. So there is nothing new to learn in mental division. The same rules apply in here too as you do it in paper from the school times. Okay, so there is no learning left to right method in division. So I do not need to teach you that. So what I will teach you in this video is a way to do that even faster like guesstimation and learning fractions. So the first of these is guesstimation. Now guesstimation is a really cool trick which takes your creativity. Now the more creative you are, the better you will be at it. In this guesstimation, we hunt for nines, ones, twos, etc. We basically need to round up or round down the numbers to make a simpler division problem. So let's learn how to do this problem with guesstimation in just 5 seconds. Now take a look at this horrifying number. Now we need to convert this horrifying number into a simpler number. We can do this in two different ways. First, we can round down that 1, but it would still look horrifying. So, we will round up that 9, which will make it 9300000. Now, this is a simpler number. Now, take a look at this number. Now, you think how to simplify this 1. So, in this 1, we can round down that 2 to convert it to 186000. Now, you will say, why not round up 8? Now, because in guesstimation, we play at the line. We need to convert the numbers into simpler numbers but not change their nature. This is where it takes creativity. Now we have this. Now these three zeros cancel and we have 93,000 divided by 186. So as we do in paper, 930 divided by 186. Now in here you can be a lot faster. See, 930 is a lot like 1000 and 186 is a lot like 200. So 2 fives are is 10, right? So let's try multiplying 186 with 5. And now for this specific problem, 186 5 is see 500 plus 400 plus 30, which is simply 930. So 186 5 is 930 and 500 is the answer. So our answer is 500. We should not be proud at it, right? Because we have changed the original question a lot and our answer should be very, very wrong. But you would be amazed to know that the real answer is 499.02. So our answer is really close to the real answer, which is insane. And these two numbers are not special numbers made by me. This one is basically the distance from earth to sun in miles and this one is the speed of light in miles. So basically light takes 500 seconds to reach from sun to earth. This is we have learned in school, right? So we normally say 500, not 499. So our answer is really, really accurate. This is because you rounded up the first number and rounded down the second number. This decreased our error. So this is basically all the guesstimation you need to know. Now you don't realize yet, but you can use this guesstimation to a lot of problems because in a lot of problems there are nines and ones which
which you can manipulate and also this is really helpful for science students in which there are a lot of big numbers you needed to divide but you don't have access to calculators in exams there you can use this estimation to get approximate answers and good marks so basically round up round down with some creativity is guesstimation now it depends on you how much you practice now for practicing i have specially made a game known as math blob run in this game there is a good blob and there is a bad blob and the bad blob is chasing our good blob and who wants to eat it but solving mental math questions will save your blob and trying to get the highest score in the leaderboard is really cool too so down link of this game is in the description of this video now the second thing that i will teach you is fractions now learning fractions for division is really important like you need to know what is 1 by 2 which is 0.5 you need to know what is 1 by 3 which is 0.333 and so on like this so i will teach you some really cool one which will make you look like you are a insane superhuman calculator so first basic thing is this see if you know what is 1 by 4 which is 0.25 then you also know what is 3 by 4 because 0.25 multiplied by 3 is 25 3 is 75 which is 0.75 so this is you need to remember like sometimes people like start dividing 3 by 4 which is not efficient way to do it you know 1 by 4 multiplied by 3 okay now a really cool one see what is 1 upon 9 simply 0.111111 and so on what is 2 by 9 0.22222 and so on what is 3 by 9 0.3333 and so on till 8 so 8 by 9 is 0.88888 and so on so this is really cool while dividing by 9 for example in a problem you have a remainder 8 now do nothing that your answer whatever it is 0.8 Eight, 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 and so on. This will make you look like you are a superhuman calculator. Now another really cool one is what is one by eleven? It is point zero nine zero nine zero nine zero nine and so on. Now you know what is one by eleven. So what is two by eleven? So zero nine that is nine multiplied by two is eighteen, which is point one eight one eight one eight one eight and so on. Now from this one by eleven, try to find others too. For example, what is five by eleven? So nine fives are forty-five. So point four five four five four five four five and so on. So while dividing by eleven, whenever you have some remainder, you can use this. Now the last but not the least, the fractions of seven. These are really cool. Now for this, you need to remember a small string of number. Okay. but it's worth it it will really make you look like you are some god of calculation something like that so the string of number is this 142857 say it again again 142857 142857 now if you have remembered this you have done a really cool thing so see 1 upon 7 is 142857 One four two eight five seven one four two eight five seven and so on like this repeat. Now look for a pattern in here. Two upon seven is two eight five seven one four, and two eight five seven one four two eight five seven one four. This pattern is repeated in all the fractions of seven like this. Now how to know from where to start this sequence? Now it's really simple. So let's understand this by two by seven. So we know what is one by seven point one four and So on. So multiply fourteen with two, we get twenty-eight. So two is basically the starting of our sequence. So wherever two is in the sequence which we have remembered, start from there. For example, in here we have two. So two eight five seven one four. Now we have one four. One four two eight five seven. One four two eight five seven. One four two eight five seven. Now this is really really amazing because with this, whenever you are dividing with seven, if you get any remainder, then you can show off. This trick. So let's demonstrate it. Forty-five divided by seven. So seven six of forty-two, a remainder of three. This is simple, basic. Now we have a three by seven. Now let's use this trick in here. So in here, three by seven. Multiply three with fourteen. So fourteen three is a forty-two. So four is our that starting number. So what is the sequence that you have remembered? Point one four two eight five seven. In here four. So four two eight five seven. One four two eight five seven. Now you can say this like this. 
6.428571428571428571 and so on now everybody will think that you are calculating but you are using this trick and this will make you simply a superhuman gold like calculator this is really faster than calculator so yeah this is a really cool trick also while performing this one you can also like act like you are calculating but you are not you are just saying a string of numbers that you have already remembered so this is sometimes those mental mathematician use to impress their audience now do not only limit yourself to these fractions learn all the fractions there are no tricks for them but you should learn them so these are all the basic tricks which i learned in this book for fast mental division also in this series we have learned addition subtraction multiplication division and also memorizing numbers so basically we have completed our basic mental math series now for now this is the end of this series but as soon as i learn something new in mental math like those finger math etc etc i will add more videos in this series so for now this is the end of this mental math series so thank you for watching this mental math series and always remember that math is everything